Okay, playtime. Now we are going to set up Salesforce Connect. Get our hands dirty. Let's do this. So, first on, I'm going to actually log into my Trailhead Playground first. My hands on orgs here. Go to my admin advanced. We are now brave. Brave wolf. All right. So, let's go back here. Let's do this. Open a browser and click here to start the installation. And then install for admins only. Let's do this together. Now I want to go as my brave um, brave wolf. What are we? Um, so much. Huh? So actually, I don't think I have ever reset the password for that first. So let's do this together. I'm going to reset my Trailhead user password so you can do that with me if you haven't uh, reset your password because you won't know the password, right? When you create a playground, you won't know your password. So go to setup here and users and I'm going to change my password. Um, Jimmy Tanzil here, let me edit here and do I have my correct email address? Come on. Yeah, student at zone.io. This is my username. I need to copy that. And then cancel. So I'm going to reset my password. How do you reset your password? You click there, right? And then you hit reset password. This is admin beginner. You should know this by now. You're an advanced admin already. Reset the password and hit OK. It's going to send to your email address where you define it there, okay? So check your email address here. I'm going to pop up my email address here, student at zone.io. Finish resetting your password over here. I'm going to click on here. So what's my password? Are you guessing? I don't think you can guess it. It's really complicated. <laughs> okay. So that's reset it. So I know my password now. So when I click on the, what are we? Here. Now I'm going to log in with a different username. My username, which we just copied. And my password here. Log in. I don't want this. I don't want to register my phone. Skip that. Now install for admins only as it is instructed, right? Install for admins only. And I'm going to, where is it? Oh, come on. Here, install a package. Install. It's going to take a few seconds up to a minute so i'm probably going to edit this video and cut the waiting time but if you're still waiting please be patient okay installation complete actually i'm not gonna edit that so that took that long for me so lightning connect quick start set customer ids click the button to assign customer ids to account records you will need this before you do lightning connect quick start does it require us to do that? Yep. Click this button. So we are going to click that button there. Boom. Customer IDs have been successfully assigned to account records. You can now do the Lightning Connect Quick Start. Awesomeness. So I'm going to close the other one so it's not so much opened there. So Lightning Connect Quick Start is installed. Let's check what's next. Connect an external data source. So we go external data source from setup. Here, setup, external data source. Make a new one. New external data source. And let's name it um, 
order db order database okay so connect o data 2.0 order db or data 2.0 or oh, they've add some more stuff there this is interesting okay interesting okay um url is this one we are going to copy this please follow along don't just watch me do your own as you watch it's it's gonna be good if you have a bigger tv to watch this video and use your computer to follow along if you have a, a tv that plays youtube okay and then what else leave the remaining settings with their default values and click save so remain and whatever that is keep it as that was and save so now we have one external data source we want to probably validate and sync because i've done this thing in the real product real world um because this is a sample, read only database, no authentication is required, yes. Okay, now we wanna create external objects so we don't need to sync yet. Okay, from setup, enter external data sources and then click the order review and then yeah, validate and sync. There, see? Validate and sync, click on that. I'm gonna select everybody. Let's just make sure we're not going going ahead of ourselves here. Well, actually, just orders and details. Uh, order details and orders, okay? So it's not going to take forever. Let's not take everything. Order details and orders. Just those two. Just these two, okay? And then sync. And wait. Be patient. Be patient. And are we done? I think so. So now go back here. Syncing, what does it do? Creates the external objects corresponding to the tables you selected. Syncing does not store all, um, any data in Salesforce. Syncing only defines mapping to external tables or repositories that contain the data. So we are not bringing any data in to Salesforce. Only mapping the tables, the fields no records is being brought into salesforce okay okay now after you have connected the external data source and defined external objects you can view external data directly in your salesforce org so you can click on this click orders let's try and do that so um here boom Woo! we are on object manager orders and this is an x look at this that's new usually this is a c for a custom object for for an external object that is an x okay keep that in mind oh here is they actually explain this and then have different standard fields display url is the o data 2.0 url representing a record in the external database yeah okay let's move on um Let's create a custom tab to easily access the order records. Sure. So now we're going to create tabs, external, and then we're going to make or name it what? Um, orders as the object. Tab style. Sure. Okay. I'm going to go to home here. Tabs. Make a new custom tab, custom object tab here. And then the order object, woohoo, there we go. Let's just pick an order, let's make it an apple. And then next, and then let's default on, everybody can see it. Next, include the tab in everywhere. <laughs> let's just bring it on right okay now if we go here we should be able to see orders there there's two of them order home order x home how do i know it's at the bottom here at the bottom look at this bottom part okay order x external object there we go recently viewed oh oopsie oopsie daisy 
Boom, look at that. You know, you can customize this as well. If you want to see some nice um, looking order date, order ID, is it shipped or not shipped, right? Customer ID, and we don't even need the display URL. So, oh sure, why not display URL, put it at the, the last one here, save. Boom, that's making more sense. We have the date, the ID, ship date, and you can click on this to see the actual data there. Look at that, amazing. Okay, let's go back here. What else do we need to do? This, we have done this. Um, click one of the order external ID values. Okay, external ID here, number nine. We have to actually click this. See, we have the details, which we already bring over. No related yet. That's pretty much it. So you can also set up authentication for the real thing. For now, there is no authentication. So let's do the hands-on challenge already, okay? Now, use Salesforce Connect to create external objects to track phone plans. Oh, now we're a phone company. What, Bell? It's in Canada. AT&T, Verizon Wireless. What else you got out, out there? T-Mobile. The phones and uh, phone plans connect uh, by your company are accessible via old data on a third-party application. Using Salesforce Connect, create two external objects to let your org access that data. So create an OData2 external object data source called mobile devices. Let's do that first. Copy that. So this is the challenge, okay? Let's do it together. Go back to setup. external data source and new one mobile devices type is o data 2.0 ooh they want us to buy but this is a playground you dude so i'm going to delete this <laughs> of course, of course. Now we have to undo everything. Well, if you're doing just like me, you would actually need to do this together. So let's do this together. I'll go to Object Manager here and delete this one. I hope it allows us to delete it. Let's see it again. Now, order details. So you might need to do this. Well, you have to, right? If you are... Is it gone now? Okay, let's go back to setup again. Our home. External data source. Can we now delete this, please? No, we have one more to delete. Boom, so you need to follow this along. Otherwise, if you already followed creating that one, it won't allow you, right? Now, one more try. Delete this again. Orders object. I want to delete the orders object. Delete. I think I didn't click the delete before, right? So, okay, go back here, home. Now we have to delete this one, delete. Boom, gone. Now we want mobile devices. Now do we have to pay now, Salesforce? We're just playing around. How come we have to pay? <laughs> okay, this URL, right? But if they want us to create two, how can we, let's just play around. Go here, right? Use the at, eight atom pub format and the anonymous identity type for the mobile device external data source. Atom pub format and um, anonymous identity type, which is already anonymous there and save okay 
So validate and sync. Let's select both. Sync. Nice, we got phone plans and phones there at the bottom. We did that. From the mobile device external data source, valid and sync the phone table. We did that. Oh, that's it, right? Make sure that you don't change the table name field in the ex either external object. So we did that. So that's the challenge. Uh, that's pretty straightforward. So we can click there. We can see the fields available there. Okay, so let's validate the challenge and get our 500 points. Hmm. The external data source was created correctly. What? That is weird. It is created correctly, right? Why? Well, how come you don't give me my points? Give me my points already. Boom. Okay. Phone plan. So it's phone plan X. Table name, phone plans. And then phone X. Okay, so let's just save this. And then, so API name, phone, phone plan X, that's important. And then if I go to phone plan or phone, It's actually external data source again here. Go here again and then you go phone, edit this guy, edit this. It has to be phone, so delete that. It has to be phone, like that, okay? So now you save that. Now you have phone X for here, okay? Now you can actually check the challenge. Bada bing, bada boom. Yes, 500 points. Hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the Salesforce app exchange. And do yourself a favor, like, this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it. Don't take my word, watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself. Bada bing, bada boom.